Day five. Eddie? Elizabeth? Is that you? Snowing. Are you upstairs? Someone is. Damn, Betty. Betty, I'm coming. Somehow, I don't think it's gonna be Betty. I knew you were here. She would have replied. Wait there. I'm on my way. Betty. Betty, are you in there? Open Maybe the she's door. changing. I'm coming in. Stand away from the door. Oh my god. This seems a little bit extreme. But I guess there's only one way to go now. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I thought it was you, Betty. But who? That is the mistress of the house. Anna. She did mention she was sick. Just uh, when she mentioned that Simon was also dead, you should be paying it. A little bit more attention to the things you read, Edward. You said this was a gift from another unlucky suitor. It was precious to you. You wouldn't have left it here unless... A signpost. A breadcrumb. But what's so important about the Fretlands? I will figure this out. I will find you. I promise. We're going to the mine. Right after we did this letter. It's from Johan. Addressed to his wife. Did you notice the handwriting, Betty? It was clearly distraught. Knock, ere knock. Enough is enough. After decades of strife, I pray that God will... Till ye... Forgive me. I am tired of secrets. For twenty years I have kept my silence about our discovery, but my silence has only led to misfortune, and my cowardice has only led to death. I will make Frederick pay for what he has done to us, for what they have done to our Ruth. When it is over, I will let the ocean take me to you and Ruth. May God forgive me. Anna was already dead when he wrote this. He had no one else to confess to. What now, Betty? Johann went to confront his brother, probably at Frederick's farm, and then? Never mind, we're going to the farm first. You followed Johan to Frederick Fretland's farm, and then to the mine. <sighs> I really want to go to the mine. But I would like to get to the farm first. You wouldn't let this go, Betty. You'd follow your story to the end. All the way to the end. We won't skip any step. We're going down to the farm. And then after that, we're heading for the mine. It's 
So where is Frederick's farm? Guessing Date. it's over there. Frederick's warning. Yep. The path leads to his farm. No traders allowed. The farm is on the way to the mine, isn't that so, Betty? Edward, come on. Are you still at the farm? Or did you go all the way to the mine? You need to get your shit together, dude. I need to see what you saw. Follow your story. <laughs> what led you to this place? She was right. I climbed over Those it. Fragments. You would piece them together into a story, wouldn't you, Betty? So, what do we know? <sighs> Johan and Frederick are partners and on good terms. Something happens in the mine. Disagreements lead to a falling out. And at the end of it all, 20 years later, Johan walks this path to confront Frederick. Yep. Was this your doing, Johan? Did you burn your brother's farm to the ground? And where were you, Betty? Did you witness their fall? Damn. What do you reckon, Betty? The date? We need more clues. There has to be something that points at the code. Maybe inside this house. If I can find an entrance. But this one, which is extremely dark. Also, this is very cold outside. I uh, I should be wearing a little bit more layers. Oh, of course. Simon's grave. It will be Simon's. Born December fifth, nineteen oh nine. Died September 17th, 1923. The safe. Frederick would choose numbers that meant something to him. Yeah. Why bury Simon here, not at the cemetery? If the village blamed him for Ruth's death. Oh no. I could really use your imagination, Betty. You'd figure this out in no time. We have completely forgotten about Alice. She's gone. We're alone now. Ah, <sighs> well, nineteen oh nine it is, or maybe nineteen twenty three. Right. I will put the birth more than the. That. Let's try Simon's birthday. Mm. Yep. Another Viking artifact, Betty. Most likely from the same treasure Ruth found. 
how it get here postmarked in Boston that's a, a curious coincidence dear Frederick I hope this letter it's in English Betty hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health we're concerned about you both uh, no word from you for almost two years now hmm. all of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing we know things have been difficult for you and Simon. Hmm. I'm starting to think that Betty isn't real either. Mr. Fretland, we expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract, and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johan must be convinced to wall up the chamber. We have already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. Oh, no. The Fretland Mining Company. I wonder what this unlocks. You went to the mine. I hope our guardian angel watched over you. Whatever they found, that's something to do with the Viking artifacts. All right, Betty. So what happens next in your story? Johan and Frederick discover something in the mine. A cave or chamber of archaeological value. They argue about what to do. The discovery is made public the end of their enterprise. Johan is convinced or paid to walk away. Their secret stays hidden. Then, a few months later, the accident. Three men die. The investors pull out. The mine shuts down. Frederick's up to his neck in debt. First mine in Grovik. Locals struggle with bad crops and livestock deaths and blame it on... They thought they were cursed because of the mine. A thing like that becomes self-fulfilling. If you believe you're cursed, every misfortune feeds the delusion. So probably the mine itself was bad for the animals. Maybe the fumes or whatever they were doing caused problems and everyone went kind of mad so, because of it 20 years pass the frontland feud tears the village apart setting neighbor against neighbor and then Ruth stumbles across the secret in the mine after all this time, the truth may finally come to light, but she dies. And the day after, Simon is murdered. It's a catalyst. Old grievances resurface. No matter who you stand with, you're a traitor. Things escalate. More people die. From disease, despair, Suicides? Murder? We're about to go find out. <sighs> All because of the mine. 
because of what they found there and what they covered up. There was no one to stop it, Betty. They were alone. That's the real curse of Grovik. Isolation. Come on, crows. You've been guiding me this whole time. You've been guiding me this whole time. Can I not enter? This place is cursed. Ridiculous. Damn. Wait. I can't go this way. What? Hold on. Get in. Oh. <gasps> That's the doll head. From the doll from before. Ruth was here. The day she fell. What am I truly searching in this desolate hole in the mountains? There's truth that I haven't yet grasped. Something spooked her. And then... She ran, all the way to the cliff where... Do you know what happened, Betty? Did you witness it? Hmm. Hello? Betty, are you in there? Please answer me. Why would she just be chilling inside of a mine? The real helpers here are the crows. Oh, Betty. This is Mother's brooch. You always wore this. You wouldn't take it off unless you left it here for a reason. What am I not seeing? Something inside of that hole. Come on, crow. Oh no. That's not good. Oh no, I'm running. Uh, come on, old man. We gotta get out of here. We're gonna get crushed otherwise. Any chance of finding Edward. out? Edward. Betty? Betty? Elizabeth? Is that. Is that you? Edward? Where are you? I'm on my way, Betty. Wait for me. There's no way she's just been chilling there. There's no way. I'm here, Betty. Edward. It's Edward. Just stay where you are. I'm coming. There's absolutely no way. Edward, where are you? I'm, on my I'm way. coming. I can hear you. Hold on. I'm almost there. Edward, please. Hurry. I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. How could I even hear from all the way there? Stay put, Betty. I'm coming for you. Come on. We're almost there. Just stay put. Yeah, just just hold on. 
Just hold tight. I'm here. I'm coming in. Get in, get in, get in. Edward, is that you? I'm in here. Thank God. Thank God. Betty, are you at least Elizabeth, real? Elizabeth, there you are. Finally. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been looking for you. You, you had me so worried. I, I. I... <sighs> Look, your brooch, mother's brooch. Y you must have lost it at the mine. Uh... Let me put it on for you, Betty. I wouldn't want you to lose it again. She's been dead for 30 years, Edward. Elizabeth was never here. But we didn't come for her. We came for Johan, and Anna, and Frederick, and Simon, and... and Ruth. We're here to tell their stories. No. Elizabeth. She's here. I... You know Betty died when she was a baby. She drowned in the pond. And you found her. You were just 11. You carried her to your mother. And your mother... She hated you for that. She could never forgive you for bringing her baby to her. And you could never forgive yourself for what she did after. You always forget this, because you don't want to be alone. So you bring Betty back, again and again, to New York, to Boston, to the house. But always just out of reach, never quite there. The scent of her, the echo of her, but never really her. All it does is make you lonelier. But the thing is, Edward, you're never alone. You have us. And you'll always have us. Betty's... She was never there for you. She couldn't be. You can't lose us. We're a part of you. Forever. And ever. And ever. But you need to let Betty go now. There's not room for all of us in there. I couldn't save you, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. Damn. It is as painful to wake from a vision as it is to be born anew. Damn. Day six. Are you there? Are you up? Alice, 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 Alice. Had your noodle juice yet? I might be weaned off the stuff. Boo. 
Don't lose your taste for tea, old fruit. It keeps you human. We have unfinished business. We do? The final piece of the puzzle. Ruth. Come on. Yeah. Let's go back to where it started. We have an appointment with a ghost. Damn. Such an amazing view, isn't it? And the air. Ugh. Boy, that sure is something. What did you want to show me? Come sit down. I would love to. How do I sit down? What did you want oh. to show me? Sit. There you, go. there you go. I found the rock. Why did we come here, Teddy? To Grovik. Well. Frederick. The one you found in his safe. From Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere. Paid it no attention, but the name stuck. And Betty... And I spun a story around it that put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? Some places have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across the Atlantic Ocean? Grovik. <laughs> Gravewick. I'm not saying that. That's irrational. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. That we may have been. To find my sister. But Betty's not. She was never here. It doesn't make sense. I'm a man of science. I don't know what to believe. And yet, here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to her. Do you believe in ghosts, Edward? You know I don't. Well, you've been chasing one for years. That's different. What about <clears throat> me? Us. You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. So what really happened to Ruth? <sighs> Probably an accident. I believe it was an accident. How? What happened? Your guess is as good as mine. All right. She ran from the mine and came here. And then, was she afraid? What made her run? Well, there was something in the mine. Something spooked her. And she panicked. So she ran here. Why not home? She couldn't go home. Or she didn't want to. She felt safe here. This was her happy place. And then... If only Ruth had wings, like an angel, she could have flown straight to heaven. I hope she's at peace. And with God. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? You know what? You can keep your beliefs. Seven. They're dead. I don't know what that means. Maybe there is more. I can't stop you from hoping. We'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace in the afterlife. Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? A story about people who are isolated. Left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending. With no annoying loose threads. Edward! Is that... A boat? But how? Who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure. 
Yeah, we can go back. I don't understand how this can be. I keep telling you, ghosts. Ghosts took the boat, ghosts brought it back. It must have been the wind. Whatever helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Well, there's a really kind ghost. Let's blouse, while the weather's still good. I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the crews. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house. Let's go. My goodness. Ah, righty ho. No rush. We have all day. Well, we don't, because we gotta paddle a bunch. So it's better if we get done with this stuff early so we have more day to actually use the boat. You know what? This will make for a fine story. Teddy, pack your things. I'm on it. I'll meet you by the boat. Do you never sit still? Don't be a wet blanket. Let's make like the wind and get out of here. Goodbye, Betty. Farewell. I'll be on my way. And who knows? Maybe in the future we're actually gonna find someone. Someone, someone real. Come on, or maybe not. Let's go, row, Teddy, row. And we're gonna stay with Alice the whole time. May not be as bad as one would think. still cold it's a fjord lissy and it's almost winter there'll be snow when we get back to hanover the house will be warm are we going to be all right edward i think so
Edward and Alice will return. Maybe we're getting a new game at some point. Who knows? I'd be down for another one. <laughs> Well then, that was Draugen. That was such an interesting game. I loved it. The whole story aspect, you know, the mystery investigative thing and uh, the whole mental part of it, the psychological effect of it. Uh, the characters, even though they weren't real, well, like, most of them. They were still extremely interesting. Like Alice, freaking loved Alice. So good. Just the whole game, the whole pacing, the whole everything. Was just really, really nice. Really, really good. Also, prompt to the music um, team. Just wanted to leave that one up there, because it uh, was extremely pleasant to listen to. You know what? I am extremely content with this entire game, this entire journey that we went through to get it. And I'll definitely remember it as a little gem that I played. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did enjoy going through it myself. And as always, I ask that if you're able to, please support the developers. I'll leave the link for the game in the description. It's always nice to show appreciation and uh, give them, you know, actual proper monetary support when possible so that we can get more 
of these gems. But anyway, if you're still here, thank you so much for sticking by. As always, I've been your host Suisai, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.